Hey everybody, Paul here. Is your car up for inspection, but you've got some body rust and you're not gonna pass inspection, but you can't afford to go to a body shop? Yeah, me too. I'll give you a primer here on how to take care of this stuff. So, your car can be passing inspection. You're gonna need a few simple tools. You're gonna need a wire brush, some steel wool and sandpaper. Of course, gloves to protect your hands, rag. Got some fiberglass resin here, as well as a Bondo type product with a cream hardener. This is basically an epoxy and, and filling kind of product. Um, fiberglass resin. We've got some fiberglass mesh tape here for the parts that are really rusted out. I've got some things going around here on my wheel well that I think is going to have to take some, uh, some of that tape. Going to need some kind of putty knife there to spread your... Um, compound. First thing I'm going to do here is uh, knock this stuff out because this is pretty nasty. I'm going to get in here with the with the wire brush and get all this out of here, even down to there. Now you don't want to take out more than you absolutely need to, of course, but this is this bubbled up stuff is definitely going to have to come out. See how I've got all that taken out there? You want to keep pieces of metal like that that are intact because. That will help the uh, fiberglass and the Bondo give it something to adhere to. See, that's not rusted, so I'm not going to take it out. But you want to give this a good whack. Make sure you get all that dust out of there. And then you want to get all that metallic dust and grime out of there. And same thing here. I always blow in here. Get all that crap out of there. But you want to get all that dust and stuff out of there so it's really clean. All right, everybody, moving on to phase two with the fiberglass tape. This hole here is bigger than the previous time. I filled it with Bondo, or this compound here. So this time I really need to go with the fiberglass tape. Just cut the tape to the, to the dimension here. And then I'm gonna prepare this fiberglass resin with the cream hardener there. I'm gonna epoxy that fiberglass in there really nicely. And then after that, I'm going to put the Bondo um, compound over that fiberglass. That's cured for about 20 minutes now, and I can tap it. It's cured really nicely. I did have to mold up around here with the compound to tuck that, tuck that fiberglass up underneath. That was the trickiest part of this. But once that compound, you get enough of it in there, and you kind of sculpt it inward, and that will hold well enough to get me through another year passing inspection. Just put some compound in there and that crack, and after I paint that black, hopefully that will get me through the inspection, but that should really be filled in with some metal at some point. But again, that's gonna cost me money when that day comes, so I'm avoiding that as long as possible. What you wanna do, people, is follow the instructions on your compound can, adding in the cream hardener, and then after mixing it, you gotta work really fast because this stuff turns to cement in a short time. Then you just throw the rest of it out. When it gets crumbly, you can't work with it anymore. Did another side here around this wheel well. This was just all, just a hole that I knocked through here. Now we're just gonna let it sit there. We're gonna let it cure. It's a nice dry day. And uh, we'll come back down, sand that, sand that down. Always wear a dust mask. Let's see what you wanna do here. Just contour that. Clean it up. So here you have it, people. Just hit the spots with this Duplicolor Perfect Match Auto Paint. Just gave it a light coat in there. And around this wheel well, the paint's still wet, so that's going to dry into a matte finish. And the biggest part of the job today, this area, which you saw, that was the real problem area. I'm not really concerned with cosmetics. Um, I just want to be inspected. I just want to be a legal beagle on the road. But you can see, smoothed out that wheel well, sanded that down, and also in this wheel well here. And that'll be enough to get me through an inspection another year. As I said, this is a do-it-yourself project. Um, we're not going for, uh, we're not going to win any beauty contests out here um, using this method with the uh, fiberglass tape and the Bondo compound, but you're gonna pass inspection and be legal. Hey everybody, it would be great to have you on board as a sub to my channel. Please leave your comments below. Hope the video helped you. Thanks for watching.